Alright, you're good. At 24 volts. with the stock 1180 gearing. <clears throat> Life Pro 4 ETR power battery. Let me get a torque Dude, test. This is insane. It's awesome, isn't it? This is a lot. Alright, ready? Just give show me the show me the uh little bit of the torque. Yeah. Oh my god. It goes yeah. up. Yeah. Oh my god. Here's, The battery lasts forever. You probably won't even have to charge it for days. Sounds awesome too, man. I think that's good. What do you think? One more torque test. Oh, it's great. One more torque okay. test. Okay. One more. Make sure you have your finger on your brake at all times. Should I hop on? Yeah. Fifteen eighty. Fifteen eighty. Yeah. Let's do a torque test. Oh, yeah. Good. Perfect. So you could you notice he didn't uh, he didn't wheelie up as much. There he goes. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So he got rid of that. Woo! Yeah. All right, show me a torque again. Ooh. Yeah, but that's if I really. Yeah, so just, just show me. So it's still got the little bit of torque, too. So either way, I mean, it's torquey. Nice. All right, so we got another Razor MX350, which is a 24 volt, 350 watt uh, motor and a 24 volt, 350 watt uh, controller. And I'll be opening it up and you'll be able to see all that. And it comes with two lead acid batteries. Um, so somebody had uh, purchased some items and he what he wants into his, Razor MX350. Um, so we got a 48 volt, 1000 watt fast scooters controller. He got a 48 volt, 1000 watt motor. 
He got a, this is a 48 volt twist throttle. This is to charge it regularly, 24 volts, the stock razor, which we won't be using that anymore. Um, and the battery he went with was a 48 volt 30 AH, and I believe it's a uh, 50 amp EMS. So how you do that is you can see they're, they're labeled here, charge negative, power negative, power positive, charge positive. And you can see by the wire gauges also. Um, the smaller ones will wire together like that. This black one with that skinny black one. This skinny red one with that skinny red one. And then that will be your charge port, which will plug into there when you want to charge it. Then this will go into the thicker wires, your red positive over here, the thicker, and then your thicker black with that one. So you're doing like that, all right? And then that will end up plugging into your controller and the controller would need to get wired, which would be cut here, stripped, and you would put your black wire there and your red wire there in place of that, and you will charge it through through here. Uh, your motor would get this on it and then would plug into your motor wires here, just like this. Once those wires are in the end of that, and like I said, with the controller or with the battery to the controller, it will be like that. It's it. Pretty easy, man. Um, he's not going to be over volting it. It's just going to be a 48 volt, uh, 48 volt. So brushed. So we get it taken apart. I am going to be put since this motor is not going to fit. Uh, what most of you have seen, if you've seen one of my older videos with this, I was putting it at an angle and I wasn't even screwing in these two screws, but since I'm doing it for somebody else, I had, I have switched to, uh, using half inch spacers to lift it up just enough to just clear this. And I use all four, of course, and it's just, it's just much better than putting it at a tilt. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that, drilling those holes, putting the spacers in with the new motor. We'll get the controller wired up, we'll get the battery wired up, throttle put on, and we'll be good to go. All right, so nine number fours took the two side fenders off. I'll go ahead and disconnect that. that. We're actually gonna disconnect everything, so. Why did you do that? Do that. I don't know if this will see it from there. Let's put it in. Why are you doing it? Right. I'm going to have to clip this zip tie here. Okay, this is the motor. I'm going to disconnect the motor. This is to the batteries right here. Disconnect that. Okay. We're disconnecting everything. I don't know why I always do that. Disconnect everything. Throttle. Okay, that disconnects the controller. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew these two screws off camera. There's just two screws there. Take the controller out. We'll take the batteries out. There's two more screws for the batteries. So four, four more screws. We'll pull those All right, out. so instead of trying to fiddle with these controller screws, I just screwed the two battery screws off because I had everything unplugged already. And it, it's just gonna pull the whole, the whole thing out now. And I still have a charger connector up there I gotta disconnect, that's why it's hanging there. It's just four screws to take the motor out. All right, real quick before I uh, take a break from all this. Um, got the motor in, used uh, half inch spacers. You probably could use a little bit bigger, but I think this is perfect. It's nice and straight. This is straight, looks good. Nice and straight. Uh, the, he went with a 30 AH uh, LifePo 4 BTR power battery. Got it as even as I could get it. Let's see all the pegs. Uh, battery's not going anywhere at all i did my uh, zip tie thing the monster zip tie thing one this way two that way and then have them squeezing the little one squeezing it controllers in there all wired up 
Boom. He's got a 48 volt 1000 watt controller with a 48 volt 30 AH BTR powered LifePo 4 bat battery. Uh, I believe it's a 50 amp BMS. And I just had to drill some holes. I use red Loctite, so this thing is not going anywhere. Um, I did do a uh, the charger plug like this. Figured why not? Uh, that way you could just uh, plug in and out like that. Um, it's got the key ignition. He did not get the digital. He got the uh, the regular. Uh, this won't. This this is uh, irrelevant now. But it's solid, man. I think he's gonna love it. Uh, what we had happen was my daughter. Um, I had the uh, the plug like this, the charge plug, kind of screwed in like that, and uh, my daughter went up with a 12 millimeter wrench and learned about not sticking metal into outlets. This was her first lesson. She's only two years old. It literally welded the positive plug pin to the uh, wrench itself. But uh, so I was a little concerned because um, I didn't know if the charger, if I was gonna be able to like just change the connectors, which is safer anyway. Uh, so I just put some XT60s on there, which is what I have on my 72 volts anyway. And um, it'll be solid. Big red Loctite on there. I'm gonna put some air in the tires. I had to tighten up the fork. Um, tighten up the handlebars also. Got the red side. Looking dope. Looking dope. And the black side. So you got a red side and a black side. Yeah, definitely needs like some stickers. Or at least a sticker here. If it were an Electro and Co. kit, we'd be putting Electro and Co. there. So... This is a fast scooters kit. Maybe uh maybe Tom at Fast Scooters will hook y'all up with a uh with a fast scooter sticker. One of those. Let me pop on there. Alright. Fat boy slim. Out.